go. Uh, Coach, why don't you just start us with an opening statement? Uh, obviously, we're, we're excited that it's game week. We're excited the season. Our kids have worked hard for about nine months um, in the off season and then fall camp. They've had a great off season. Our strength conditioning program got them really ready for fall camp. They, they were pretty locked in all fall camp. I would say we got like a one and a half deep. That's probably been pretty ready for this game for a while. We got our our twos to two and a halfs. Could certainly use another couple weeks of fall camp to get ready for this game. Um, it's nice to come into a season that we have some experienced players that have played and played at a high level and, and kind of know what it takes to play against a caliber team of Marshall and kind of know what to expect um, and have some expectations that they can have success. Uh, we have some younger guys that we're going to count on this Saturday that will be in the fire for the first time. But uh, the nice thing is it's that list is much smaller than it's been in the past. So um, obviously with the finish last year and the confidence that the kids got from the finish a year ago, um, they're really excited about the year. We're really excited about the year. For us, trying to get off to a good start, um, we haven't got off to a good start at Miami in quite some time, probably since 2010, and I don't even really know how that season started, but I know it ended good in 2010. So we haven't had a good start to the season, the, 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 non, the non-league part in a long time. So we've been really focusing on Marshall, and, and they're super talented and, and have a great program, and Doc does a great job. And I know they had a little bit of a down year for them last year, really a really down year for them considering coming off three straight 10-win seasons, which was one of the few programs in the country in, in 14, 15, and 16 that had won 10, 10 straight games for three seasons, and, and they were rolling as one of the one of the better, better teams in the country. So we know they'll be loaded with talent. We know they're explosive athletes. We know what to expect when we play them. Um, my first game at Miami was against Marshall. It wasn't much fun. Uh, it was 23 at halftime, uh, so it wasn't it wasn't very enjoyable. My first encounter with Marshall, and we're well aware of the rivalry. Um, obviously, when Marshall was in the MAC and had some of their best football teams in the history of their school, we had some of the best football teams in the history of our school in the late 90s, early 2000s. So there were some there were some crazy great matchups between Miami and Marshall that that led to conference championship implications. So uh, very excited and. Uh, can't wait to get there and, and play our first game and kind of see where we're at right now and um, plan on, just like we always do, taking taking the first game and then improving from there each week after that. So it's it's exciting time, exciting for Miami football, and it's a great road contest right off the bat. Uh, Coach, line in the notes here says Miami's football rebuild is now complete, but I'm guessing you probably don't agree with that statement, do you? Yeah, no, I think, I mean, I get, I think in some respects, it's complete when you say we get here three years ago, we're 0-16, and the first, the first thing we talked about was becoming relevant in the conference and trying to win a conference championship. And although we didn't win an outright championship, being 6-2 and two and having a Mac East trophy in our trophy case, I'd say a big part of the rebuild is complete. Now we've rebuilt the program to where preseason people are talking about, preseason they're talking about being one of the top teams in the MAC. That's what we want to be on a year-on-year basis. Now, okay, what's the next step after the rebuild? Take something that's very broken and get it back to where it's, it's where you want it to be. And I think our program is where you want it to be. I think we have a ton of talented kids in our program, not just for the Marshall game, not just for this year, but for years to come. I think the cupboard is very full here. We only have 10 seniors on our whole roster, so – uh, it's an exciting thing when you don't lose a lot of guys last year and only have 10 seniors. We, we got a chance to keep getting better here for the next couple of years and stay there. So, But I think there's another giant step for us, um, and that's play a complete season. We haven't played a complete season here in a long time. And uh, start, start off strong, play strong in the middle, and finish strong. We, we'd like to be able to do that. Yeah, so uh, just uh, kind of going in a different direction with this. Um, how's the overall health of the team, I guess, going into Marshall? Yeah, pretty darn good. Uh, Dean Lemon. Uh, will not dress um, one of our defense fans. And pretty much other than Dean, it's kind of all systems go for everybody. So we've, we've tried to be very judicious and smart at camp. Uh, we've tried to do enough contact to be ready to play, but also uh, be smart because you got a lot of returning kids that we know aren't going to shy away from contact come Saturday. So uh, I think we've been very judicious to try to keep our team healthy, and I think we've done a good job with that. I actually have one question in terms of your first game. You mentioned it, Marshall, 2014. At one point, you looked out at the field, and I think on defense, you had 10 freshmen out there at one point. A lot of those guys are still now on the team. I mean, thoughts on – can you just kind of maybe talk about the defense that maybe you, you have this year? 
Yeah, I think I think obviously having experience back for the first time, we really have an experienced defense, and we've had some, you know, five six kids back, but then we've had a slew of other kids that were way unproven, and 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 really for the first two years we played kids that couldn't physically get the job done. Last year we felt like we had eleven kids that physically get the job done. Then as the year went on. They started to play more consistently and really did get the job done. Now you come back and, you, you know, you start off with Treywick and Akeem inside, and, and you got two really physical run stoppers that can also push the puck in the pass game, and you always want to be strong in the interior. Obviously, losing our three DNs, there's going to be a whole slew of DNs that play on Saturday. Uh, we're excited to see how they play. They're excited about their opportunity. But then you get your three linebackers back right behind Akeem and Treywick uh, with, with, with Junior Koenig and Demo, and you got – a pretty solid nucleus, and you look at the back end, and you really only lost Bucci Okafor, and Josh Allen played as much as Bucci. So you got really nine or eleven guys are back on defense, and they've played in games, and they've had success in games, and they've had failures in games, and they know what's the difference, and what causes winning, and what causes losing. So we're exciting. They they're kind of mirroring our football team. I think last year we became a very formidable MAC defense, and, and say that we've kind of got our defense fixed, obviously based on stats and numbers, and winning a bunch of games. But on the other hand, I feel like, just like we were talking earlier, we got another giant step on defense that we can make and even become a much stronger unit. Uh, just could you give us a little more detail about Marshall, what they bring to the table? What, uh, uh, what, what's your biggest concern about them? And are they similar to any team you've played, like maybe last season? Um, yeah, they're, they're similar, similar, similar to Cincy athletically. They're really athletic at every position. Um, they've been known for explosive offenses for years. They're going to spread the field. Doesn't mean they, they whip it around a bunch, but they're a very good running team. All right, they, they spread the field and get the box looks they want, and they always have had great tailbacks. Even though they've had some great passers and great receivers, they've always had great tailbacks. Last time we played them, we couldn't tackle their tailback three years ago. He ran he ran all over us. It was, it was disheartening to watch. So they always have. But they do a good job of getting you spread out and getting good run looks and really running the football effectively. And then they've always been known for whipping around. And uh, unfortunately, the last time they came here, they had a senior quarterback. So we got his senior year, uh, which is nice. And then the last two years, they've been getting this kid ready. So we, we didn't get this kid's freshman year, which uh, he played good his freshman year. Then he played better by the end of his sophomore year. And by he, he's ready to go. And he's, he's got a big time arm, their quarterback. And he's a typical Marshall, big, strong, athletic kid that can make all the throws. And they always have perimeter guys that can absolutely fly and run and catch the ball. So same thing on defense. They, they, they mix it up. They play man. They play cover three. They play some cover four. They bring pressure. They bring man pressure. They bring zone pressure. Obviously, Chuck Heater's been a long time, very, very successful uh, defensive coordinator for years and years and years and brings a wealth of experience. So they got they got the ability to throw a lot of things. But the biggest thing on defense is their athleticism. You know, their D linemen are physical, twitchy, and athletic. Their linebackers can run and strike and cover, and then all their back end guys can fly, and they're long, and they can cover. So just their athleticism is will be will be very challenging at, at, at every point in the game. Uh, who are the two guys on both sides of the ball that you're worried about the most in terms of facing Marshall? Um, I don't know. They're pretty balanced on defense. There's really not there's really not two guys on their defense that all eleven guys and they play a bunch more than eleven. They got a lot of guys that can run and play on defense. So. I just think their athleticism on defense overall, they don't really have a weak spot. Offensively, obviously, the quarterback and his ability to, to really get the ball out of his hand quickly, two really skilled guys quickly. And uh, they, lost, they lost some receivers. Obviously, they always have – Doc likes to reload in a hurry. He doesn't <laughs> – there's in a lot of rebuilding in Doc's, Doc's arsenal. He likes to kind of <laughs> – out with one group and bring in another group of guys. So there'll, there'll be some guys on the field that, that maybe we don't even know about that will be pretty scary come Saturday. We good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, Coach, thanks. All right, thanks.